Hello everybody, so Calthero here, welcoming you back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, today we're going to be working on the Ford GT40. It actually comes as part of a DLC pack that is offered by the creators of this game. Uh, I don't remember how much it was when I bought it at the time. I think it's only like four or five bucks. It's, uh, it's not too bad to get a couple extra cars. I mean, I don't mind. Um... I had like after I ended the Ferrari episode, I was kind of looking at the cars that I have to work on. I looked in my garage and I totally forgot that I had a Bronco that I already purchased. It just didn't have the rear back end of it on, which I mean, this used to be a thing you could do with your Broncos, which people love to do is make it into a truck. But um it's funny too cuz this one happened to be pink, so it's like it was the long lost one to this one. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix up one of them to sell. And just like the Ferrari, I'll try to have the parts already on hand to uh, build the other one so it goes pretty quickly. Uh, the, uh, what's it called? The Ford GT40, I do not have any of the parts and I have no idea what all it requires. Um, what I have of this car is very limited, so there's probably going to be a lot that I'm going to be buying. So we're going to go ahead and get started on it here. Uh, I don't even think, yeah, I don't even have a battery for this thing. Um, a lot of the car wasn't with it, and truth be told, I think I might have used the battery for something else or sold it by accident. But usually whenever I get a car out of the junkyard, it at least has a battery in it that I can salvage but and uh, recharge but in this case it didn't um, I did have the engine block there we go don't have that I have to be under there for it I don't have that I do have that from the Ferrari build uh, I did have that but I guess it, it didn't make it it must have broke uh, I did have this too Nope, it didn't make it either. It's damaged. And apparently I forgot to sell all that stuff that I ripped out of this thing. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Uh, ooh, that actually didn't delay. Maybe they did optimize the game a little bit more since uh, the last time I played it. So There's a lot already off the bat that we're going to need to buy on the engine here it looks like. Let's go ahead and get underneath the car. Okay, I did salvage that. I did, yeah, I didn't have that. Don't have a flywheel. Uh, fuel tank. Don't have the fuel tanks. It takes a fuel tank C, which is a little different. Um, Let's see, where are you? That's the engine heads. I might as well start getting this stuff too. From what I saw, yeah, overhead valve I. So if I see overhead valve I for V8, more than likely I need to buy it. So that's one. I'm going to need two because it's a V8. Um, and like I said, the, the only thing that came with this car was the block and a piston that was tossed anyways. Um... Overhead eye, I'll need two of those. Overhead eye, exhaust manifold. Uh, oh, you know what? I bought two of the A, didn't I? Oh, wait, no, there's an, no A. There's just a regular and then a B. Well, might have spent a little extra money there. Uh, fuel tanks, that's what I needed, two of those. Let's go ahead and get that, and we will need the engine head covers. That'll be a thing later on. Uh, let's see here. Yep, intake manifold. That it's kind of nice because everything is color coded to the Ford blue here. Um, probably using this oil filter. I didn't check that though, but oh well. I should know what this takes because, I mean, I, whoops, one more, there we go. I've, uh, I restored one of these before, so I should know what, what every part is that I need. I need this. Sorry, I should clarify. I, I've restored one of these before in real life, not on this game. I haven't done it yet in here, so it's a new adventure for me here, but I've, I've, restored one before well helped I should say I didn't do it and I worked at the uh, 
at the dealer when I was a mechanic. Let's see. I'm just kind of looking for anything with the Ford logo, and then if it has that V8i, I'm just buying it up right now. And then, obviously, with being the color blue, it stands out pretty good in here, too. <laughs> Got its own special water pump pulley. Okay. I think that's good for now. Let's go ahead. Oh, and I didn't even get what I originally came in there for. Jesus. Wait, yeah, I did. I thought I bought the fuel tank. Oh, I bought two of the fuel tank Bs, and I forgot a, I need a C. Damn it. I thought it was two Cs. Well, I'll have an extra one of those that I'll eventually sell off and do nothing with. And then I have that flywheel I need to install. I have a lot of suspension to do. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's the fuel pump. Okay. Only one fuel pump, even though there's two tanks. Oh, let's go ahead and get the fuel pump. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to do, like, performance stuff with this. Because, I mean, this is like a vintage car. and I'd rather not do that to a vintage car. I want to keep it all as stock as possible buy one of those anyways just because I don't see anything special of a VA overhead valve I so it must just take a regular one which I thought I had maybe I do have it now that I think about it I might have had that already I want to say I took a gearbox off, but I don't know if it made it. No, I didn't make it. Okay. Guess it doesn't matter either way. Oops. The axle knuckle housing made it. Getting really low on the bushings, though. I don't have any bottom ones either. Crap. Yep, I'm going to need to buy some stuff here. So, let's see. I need bottom suspension arms. I need two of those. And I need a whole bunch of the, whoops, regular rubber bushings. 560. Try not to kill my game here. It's been running pretty smooth lately. There we go. Oh, it's bottom suspension arm B. There it is. Messed that up already. Oh, well. I could probably use those later on. Suspension is always something that you tend to use a lot of in this game, so... Not too worried about buying the wrong parts of that. Uh, yeah, I did get this double wishbones already for the rear and the front. No rear axle knuckle covers. Oh, I only had one of those. Crap, I'm gonna need to buy another one. I was going to say, I know there's something that still needs to go through here, but I can't see it. There you go. Alright, so that's ready for a wheel and tire now. Might as well do this side since I'm missing... Was it this? Yeah, rear wheel hub B. One of them must have broke. Uh, there you are. Seems like stuff on this car is with B, so if I'm missing something, I'll probably because it broke and I don't want to buy it because it seems like only this car is probably going to be the one that has the need for the B all right we're ready for wheel and tire there let's move to the front of the car come on come on there we go the steering rack in uh, we only have one front steering knuckle housing there Oh, 
have no front axle knuckle covers. And I already forgot which housing it is. Uh, B crap. Well, there's the bottom suspension arm, which, of course, I was able to repair the two that I had already anyways. So, I'll still have two extra when, we're, when it's all said and done. No upper suspension arms, because I'd used them up front and totally forgot. Radiator A is from the engine, okay. So I need the front axle knuckle or front steering knuckle B, and then I also need upper suspension arm. I didn't look to see, I think it's this one. It might be B though, knowing my luck. Oh no, okay. How lucky. I was really tempted to buy the B one too. Whoops. Nope, let's get over to that side. There we go. It'd be nice having the suspension all done here. It'll be one less thing to work on, even though this is like the generic area of this game to where it's kind of the same with each car. So it's going to be a little difficult uh, working on the engine, so might as well get the easy stuff done and out of the way. Or, well, not really easy, but the m more common stuff that we're used to doing. Go, front wheel hub. Leave it to wheels and tires only. There we go. Go ahead and lower the car back down. The reason I'm not putting the wheels and tires on is because they're really big on this car for starters. Oh, that looks legit with nothing to bolt that into. <laughs> oh, well. It's only temporarily. Um, yeah, the reason um, I'm not putting those on is there's two different sizes for starters. And then uh, on top of that, too, it, they're really big, bulky wheels and tires, so I didn't want them in my way. What? Did I not buy any? I must not have bought any pistons and piston rod, or rings. Usually something I have on me. I guess not in this case. Uh, it did say radiator A. I might as well buy that while I'm looking at it. That and there's the pistons and rings. Before we get too far ahead, let's go ahead and get some of this stuff we're missing up front here. So like the camshaft, B8, ignition coil, B. Those will be two things I'll need. Uh, let's see, ignition coil, B, and camshaft, B8 overhead valve. Oh, I did not look. Was that? Okay, good. It's a generic one. Have that. I don't have that. Yeah, if I remember right, there was a lot of stuff that didn't come on this car. So I don't have. Let's see. Don't have the distributor. I. Pretty sure I don't have the rotor for the distributor. I don't have a cap either, so I might as well get that. Uh, won't have the wires, so we might as well buy those too. 
And then I saw power steering pump V8 is what I need to and I don't have. Went way past it. There we go. Oh, I forgot that arm. And I forgot the cam gear. Damn it. I hate. Sometimes you just like get so distracted on one thing and like, oh yeah, I need that. Plus I need, oh, of course I had one. Oh, and those stupid damn clips. Yep, I knew I don't have those. Get the cam gear. Or I forget that again. Cam gear, V8, overhead valve. Need that arm. There we go. Uh, we might as well get this too. And we need the base. Yep. Because we'll need a round air filter too. Oh, there's a special one. Glad I didn't just buy it. And I think that's it. I got the arm. I bought the cam gear. I'll need a chain, I'm sure. Might as well get that. The 8i. There we go. Might need two of those. Oh well. Oh, I forgot the damn clips. That's what I was forgetting. Clip B. I don't want to forget those because they're tiny and I'll be looking at a 99% done car and going nuts trying to figure out what it is I'm missing and then I'll see clip and I'll be like well where's the clip at it's not on the air filter and then I'll finally remember oh yeah this thing has a distribute uh, distributor app on it and it needs it wrong timing chain oh that's great need an alternator too okay well, let's kind of move on to the engine head here. We'll at least get that done. So we're still sort of moving here. Alright, alternator I6B and a timing chain B8 overhead valve. So let's see, timing chain... Oh god, I'm gonna need those probably too. Stupid valve push rods, it's an older car. Alright, here's the timing chains. V8 overhead valve. Yep, I need one of those. Oh, might as well slap that on the car. Oh, and I need that alternator, I6B. And I probably need a timing cover. Oh no, maybe I bought that one already. Uh, alternator I six B. Yep, that was the one I did buy. Cool. Crankshaft pulley V eight overhead valve. Water pump V eight overhead valve. Damn. All right, so we need crankshaft pulley V eight overhead valve. And a water pump pulley V8 overhead valve. I thought it was the eye, but I guess not. Maybe it uses two? I have no idea. It's strange to have a car that uses... What? Water pump V8 overhead valve. I uh, Oh, I did the... I bought the pulley again. Damn it. Not the water pump. Alright, well, that's fine. I guess it's an extra part. But uh, it's strange to have something that uses like I this, I that, like it's made for that specific car and then all of a sudden it changes itself. Oh yeah, see there we go. So now there's the I. And of course I don't have that. V8 overhead valve I for the serpentine belt A and I think I bought the B already. If there is a B? Yep. Oh, I bought two Bs. Okay. Alright, so that's done. Um, exhaust manifold. Guess we could do that. Oh, this is gonna be cool. This thing is gonna be badass when it is done. 
Oh, I'm missing an exhaust manifold. Oh, yeah, I need another A or another B. Oh, you know what? Before we get to that, let's get down to the stupid shit I hate working on, which is those uh, push valve things or whatever they're called. Um, oh, and we'll need spark plugs too. Where are they? I know you're in here. Is it valve rod? Oh, wait. Yeah, I think I just saw them. Yep. Val push rod. It's probably I6B. I'm going to be screwing myself over here, but let's see. I bought 12. Oh, nope. 2, 4, 6, 8. Oh, I am a little short. I'll have to go back and buy more. And I have no rocker arms, of course. I bought, how many did I buy? 12, so. I buy four more of these. I need to go to rocker arm. The rock out arm, or are you? I pass it? Yeah, it's right there. there you go. And I need 16 of these things. This is again in the generic part, so I'm not too worried about it, but at the same time too, I don't like to work on older cars in this game, so. And this is the exact reason why, because of this tedious process here. Kinda doing spark plugs and these at the same time. go. You have the engine head cover again because it's all color coded. Pretty cool. It actually is color coded to the car's paint job too. So might have to leave this car the blue that it is. I gotta see if they have the. Uh, I think they came with a white stripe or an orange stripe when they were the actual race cars. Not too positive on that though. Okay, definitely need different wires. This stupid stuff then first. I guess those aren't so bad. It's the rocker arms that drive me nuts because you got to put it on, then you got to screw it down. It's just one more extra step. The thing about Thief Simulator, like a lot of this stuff is like you click and hold then you got to click and hold again just to take it off is like, ugh. My patience isn't that, isn't that high. There we go. Got that all put on now. Intake manifold I. Yep, I have that. Part is holy shit! This is crazy. All right, get the ignition wires for a V8. So it just wants that, and then it needs carburetors. It was like, oh, what the hell? Which ones were they? I don't remember now. I might have to look at that again. Not to mention exhaust manifold is something I still need to get. Exhaust manifold B. Uh, B. I. Rear muffler GT40. Alright, well that doesn't get much easier than that. Rear muffler, GT40. There it is. That's a simple exhaust, just the two manifold pipes and then to the muffler. And you're done. Perfect. Alright, it's a two barrel side draft and I need four of them. Holy cow. A lot of carburetors on this thing. Alright. 
barrel side giraffe. I need four of these puppies. Oh, I didn't mean to go for the extreme close up. And we're still doing it. Man, there's really a lot with this engine. Air trumpet V8 overhead. What the hell is that? Jeez. Making me look bad here. Like, what is that? And I've actually worked on this. And at least that's what I told you guys. It's probably how it feels right now. Uh, let's see. Air trumpet V8 amp. And there is there double cards. There's four of them. So there's two, four, six. There's eight, I want to say. This is what I need. Yep, eight. Nice and shiny. Looks like it's almost done. I almost feel like I bought maybe too much. Thinking that I would need it. Yeah, that seems like that's it for the engine. We might as well go to the front here and get the brakes and the radiator done. Whoops. Radiator fan housing B. Alright. Easy enough. Fan housing B. Plus the fan. Both fans, actually. All right, so let's get underneath the car to finish the bottom end of the motor, and then we will slap some wheels and tires on it and see how we're looking mechanically-wise on it. Good. You know what? I didn't even mention this in the Ferrari episode, which I recorded before this one. Um, I finally have a dual monitor set up in my house. So I bought a um, Asus uh, monitor on uh, Amazon on Black Friday. I bought that and I bought a, a new Samsung 4K TV so I could uh, see what all the fuss is about with 4K, which... I could see why it's actually really really nice when you look at it but uh playing with this monitor compared to my old monitor which is sitting right next to me too just as a uh, second screen it's uh really helpful having the two and it's, it's really showing me how much uh how much clearer like how much better monitors have gotten over the years I mean granted it's not like it's a <laughs> it's the best of the best here but I mean it's it's Pretty decent for what it is. Whoops, not to get that one. There we go. And then on top of that, I mean, because I can see the recording on the other screen, like what I'm recording right now, it you, you could just see that color quality change. Well, that one didn't get starred up at all. And uh, it's pretty nice, let me tell you. I was sitting at home and I was like, you know, let's do some Black Friday shopping. Let's see what we got out there. And sure enough, there was a, it was a pretty good deal on the monitor and I needed a second one anyways. And there's a pretty good deal on TVs and I've been wanting to buy myself a TV so I can give my mom my old TV. Because she has a really old like tube TV, so I think she'd appreciate it as she got bumped up a few here. All right, let's see the car status now. We seem to be uh, rear clam shell, right side mirror. Okay, so it looks like we have everything mechanically done on this car, which is crazy. Go ahead and lower it down. Yep, let the arms come out. Let's go ahead and start buying our body paneling. 
Uh, first off, steering wheel, we need a GT40. This is what's going to be nice, is all the parts for the actual car are going to be on here. Including interior. It's not going to be using the default one. Uh, where's the GT40 seats? Seat Mach 1, Seat Mustang, GT40, there we go, need two of those. Oh, that's so legit too, it looks just like the real thing, that's cool. Um, it's probably under this body shop, considering it's a DLC car, let's type in GT40 and see. Yep, there it is, so we need the hood, we need... I just need every body panel, I think, for this thing. I want to say I didn't have anything for it. There we go. Let's buy all of those. And uh, let's go ahead and get that interior assembled. Those seats in and that steering wheel. And let's work on the body now. Front right door window that Cam rear clamshell that door that window oh the mirrors let's not forget the mirrors since we're walking away from them right now i was thinking of doing this in black with black wheels like just keeping the originals but doing them in black i think i'm glad i went with just keeping them stock because they look pretty cool as it is And I think that's going to be it. Let's see. Other than a license plate on the rear. Because that's easy. Only one license plate. I'm going to California. We'll do our custom. We'll do GT. We'll do Ford. GT. Yeah, that's not going to work. We'll do Ford. GT. 40. Uh, not 45. Not 49. 40. There we go. Just need the one apparently is what it says. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's all done. Let's go ahead and uh, move it into the paint booth. Move car to the paint shop. And let's move one of these Broncos up. Um, I think this is the one I'm going to end up selling. So, well, let me look real quick. 186,000 miles. This one has 177. Yeah. Oh, looks like you're going to be the winner. I like to sell the lower the miles. Oh, let's move it up onto the car lifter. We'll grind that one out too eventually. But first, let's paint this bad boy. Oh, got the door. So we're gonna just keep it the current color, unless there's a livery you can do. Oh, there is. Oh, there's the stripes. There you go. Oh, there's only two. That sucks. I want to say the original was blue. I don't know if it was this bright of a blue, though. It's like a... More like a that? I don't know. We'll do... It'll look more like a modern blue. I think it was more of a powder blue than anything. I think it was like that. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then I'm just curious to see what it runs stock wise. Oops. On the uh, dyno. And we'll start it up while we're in here too, just to hear it. These things are. So I hate the doors on this car. Everybody thinks they're so cool, but when you're driving one of these things and when you get in and out of them they are such a pain in the ass to deal with man this thing sounds good definitely good sounding car yeah like this will be like this and you're like trying to fight your way around like this get in the damn car that's one thing that it's a cool feature but it's like was it really worth it because i keep getting my fucking hip poked in by a damn door <laughs> to make all the factory power it should anyway so that'll be pretty cool and yeah, not too bad not too bad at all 
for an old car like that making 335 horsepower that's uh that's pretty nice go ahead and uh i'm not even going to take it to the racetrack just because i mean it's just a just a stock like restore of a classic car but yep there she is under the light the blue definitely is not the right blue and i want to say the race version for the track had like an orange stripe and not a white I think they just went with the uh, what the modern GT uses, which is a white stripe like that. And can you open this stuff? Oh, I guess not. You can only open the front doors. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy this episode in this series or any other series or episode, please hit that subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate it as it helps me out as well as it keeps you informed on when I release new content. Uh, if you're not new to my channel and you enjoyed this episode, you can leave a comment down below or you can hit the like button if you don't feel like typing. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Take care.